Okay, so thank you very much. Um, so and let's let's start also to have this properly recorded also to share then with other colleagues that um, cannot join today. So this is one more community call. It's always a pleasure to share with you the updates and also to have some moments for you if you want to to share some some doubt that you have or to clarify any issue. So sometimes we don't have so much so. Um, uh, community calls particip participatory as as we would like, but no no problem. We always try to make it to make it useful, and to share some updates uh, uh, from the dashboard uh, to support providers in open air, but also from other related services that are critical for for, for in the in the ecosystem of open air services. So the idea is today is just to provide some updates. We have in the pipeline some topics uh, around novelties in the broker, uh, around um, uh, novelties in the guidelines, um, um, and about also the onboarding um, of data sources in EOSC. Uh, uh, but I think it will be we don't we are not sufficient mat mature to to present some of those things so we we postpone a bit for 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 the community call of april and may let's see i think at least the onboarding for in the osc i think it's one topic that we would like to discuss and also the topic around the guidelines it will be also important uh, and in fact we have an important meeting uh, in, in the coming week of the of the core team of open air that we work on the guidelines and if you if you want to to share some thoughts about of all the guidelines if you have something critical you please uh, be aware that some of some of us, uh, some people that you know here from the from these meetings, we will uh, meet in the coming uh, in the coming um, week uh, to have a kind of uh, one day retreat to 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 discuss on some updates of the guidelines. So linking to the um, to the EOS context, linking to the global uh, uptake of of our guidelines also. So. Um, be aware of that. So the guidelines is a critical topic also for one of the um, upcoming community calls. So today we just want to to provide some updates about the dashboard and to and to and and and, and together with the, with the, with the, um, uh, my colleague Leonidas and then and, and my colleague Andre. Uh, we decided to highlight some some topics that are related usually with the adopts and the the, the support um, tickets that we have related with the with the dashboard. So uh, we would try to 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 reply to some of them here that may some of the things are useful for you. And if you have other other questions, uh, please feel free to 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 say. So you can also put uh, some comments in the in the notes if you want, and we will reply. But basically, updates on the provide dashboard. Check a bit the the information in the uh, in the data sources uh, uh, available. So um, sorry. Important. Uh, so we, uh, in in February, I said it because it was on the day, but day before, just the index, the last index stats, uh, the 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 last index update was on, on the end of January. Is the one that is available now. We didn't have any in in in, in February, but it's uh, one is being prepared for 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 this this month. So be aware of that. And then, of course, this is related with the broker events, the new broker events the statistics information that is is available in the different uh, components of our of our services and of course the the the, the content that is, is is harvested from 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 your site if you already log in in the last um, i would say 3 weeks maybe the 3 weeks um, you will found uh, you will find the differences in the in the authentication let's say process at least in terms of the layout so in fact the 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 services were was was um unavailable for a kind of alpha day due to the update of the the open air AI. Uh, so some performance improvements were were made and also the look and feel is uh, is is a bit different as you can uh, as you can see if you if you try to to log in in the provide service, you will see that now 
the, um, the authentication is a bit different. So uh, this 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 page is is, is different. So, um, but uh, but this. This was um, a smooth update uh, in different uh, in in some of the other um, in some of the other services. It had some impact in the provide due to the uh, multi-user thing that provide to us some 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 issues, uh, but uh, they are being solved. But so just for you to be aware of that. Um, if you want to give us some uh, input, you can always ask for 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 developments and things like that, and 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 be aware that we have this new ticket system. Please uh, forward all your tickets uh, to helpdesk.openair.eu, uh, helpdesk at openair.eu. Um, so we have a, a new ticket system, Zamad, uh, that we are managing in the. So we can reply to you. In 24, 48 hours, for sure you will have a reply from from us via this new up desk ticket system, um, and it's everything is working well. So, um, in fact, last last month we we have we have come up with some novelties that are, are relevant. I will I will touch in them uh, on them in the in the in the next slide, but. We have two main topics uh, uh, now. Just to because some people sometimes ask about some of the of, of some 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 about some doubts issues that they have in having the exploring the information the public information about the data source in in our discovery service explore.openair.eu. I will just try to to. Um, to check a bit that and to present to you. And then after that, uh, we, we have some common dots that usually you have. Some of them are yours, others, uh, so you, you you have a clear view. So we will focus on this in the coming in the coming minutes. Uh, so I will try to, to, to cover everything, but then if my colleague Andre or my colleague and Leonidas want to jump in and to say something, um, so feel, feel free. Um, one uh, one relevant thing is the the about this uh, find your data source and uh, and um, and also about the um, some changes that we did uh, recently let me let me i have one i think it's open um okay let me let me open one email that also andrea sent me Okay. So uh, I, I suppose I suppose you know. So uh, of course, explore.openair.eu is 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 a uh, is the discovery tool of Openair. Uh, but 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 with, with it's not a, like a normal discovery tool where we search for mainly for publications and the authors of publications. So we have all the the other, let's say, research entities that we have in our graph represented here. Uh, so the, um, the all the kinds of research outputs from research data and research software. Of course, items are available, but 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 most important, the project, the funder, uh, the funder data that we have from the the projects, the grants, and also the the organizations. And the organizations have um uh, data sources available and they have projects so we can find the projects and the organization in the in the data sources for example and the con the corresponding content from this organization so this is something that is uh, um different uh, compared with other discovery uh, tools so it's 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 interesting um also this this novelty of having of a, having integrating this uh, um different Kinds of subjects, let's say here, uh, available in in better that you can check and provide us some feedback. The sustainability, sustainable the SDGs subjects and the and the and the fields of science that I think it's it's relevant. So so you you for sure you can you can um, find the the, the information uh, searching for the data sources here. So we can list just the repositories or or you can browse all. What is relevant that for 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 us to share with you is that. Uh, 
one different that some people already start asking questions about and i, I ask your attention here uh, because i have, have two um implications in your side is that in explore now it was a decision that we took last year around summer and we implemented after um you can see for example here this example of this institutional repository and you see this label here uh, not yet this tag here not yet uh, registered um what we have decided is was to integrate in in the search of explore all the entries from our author the from the the authoritative directories that we use mainly from re 3 data open door and fair sharing so even if they are not onboarded in open air so you can check them here and and it, it, it become visible that you are uh, uh, this repository is, is listed, is registered in an authoritative directive from open air, but it's not yet registered on boarded in open air, not registered yet. Okay. It's, uh, but um, this was, was, uh, this is important also in the context is the broader context of IOSC, uh, open air being a, a, um, a, a way to register resources in, 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 in the IOSC, um, uh, catalog and, and this is this is relevant and and the the, the, the implication that we may have um is the i'm not sure if i have any example is the fact that you can search for your um, uh, university or your data source and you can find like two entries uh it, which we may have one for example registered and the other one not registered but in fact they are the same uh, because they are coming from two different directories uh, open air applies a process of deduplication of the data sources entries but if the main information is is quite different uh from the directories, the way that you register the title, for example, in open door and the title in fair sharing, for example, it become quite difficult to implement this, um, to apply this, the duplication that we have, uh, and you, you will have two, two, two entries, uh, one not registered and the other one registered. So be aware of that. If you have this, and it may have the case of some of you, so you can check, go to explore.openair.eu and check it. Just send us a ticket, uh, okay? And we will um, merge them, okay? But 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 it's but it's something that it's good for you to be aware, okay? And for you to realize, okay, I I did I did one entry uh, using it uh, in Portuguese, and the other one is in English, and I don't have uh, and it's the order is different, so repository from University of Minho or Universidade do Minho repository. So you, you, we, we have it in the different. So be aware of that. So you, we may have this kind of issues. It's not so critical, but this integration of all data sources in the directories creates this, uh, this issue. Okay. Um, okay. This is one of the topics that... Uh, Oops, that I want to highlight all data sources from open door with three data and fair sharing listed where to find your data source and then um, the, the public information is is is, is updated whenever is necessary so it's it's also important to say that the the landing page of each data source have the information that for that that we have from the last index update so the total number of um, of publications uh, uh, that we have um, uh, the related data sources so the publications that we have in our data sources that are also available in the in, in other data sources and then also this widget here uh, on the user statistics, the those the, the information that is made publicly available, but that we have it in the dashboard, 
your dashboard that, that you we have the downloads um uh, the downloads and the views in your repository if you are part of the user's count service and the open air views and you can uh, so this is not a, uh, so uh and then you have this this diagram here, so powered by the open air uses uh, statistics, and then you can also share this this uh, let's say landing page. So there are this information. Uh, so around the the statistics, then that you can also have in terms of the representation of the content that we 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 harvest from your um, your site. So this is for you to be aware sometimes sometimes we don't explore properly the the public content that we have available but i think this is this is relevant um and as we are also, uh, also have the information about the compliance level that we have registered for 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 you um and i think it's all in terms of uh, if you have any any question or any comment sometimes so uh so be be aware of that so uh, of course it's it's important also to highlight and uh, i don't want to forget that that part that and and and, and the majority of, of of you know but so the fact that you have the content on board it uh make visible the content for the other some other facilities for example this this uh, link um, research results that that we have here is is also important. Okay, so if you want to link a publication to um, a project, and if you don't have that information in metadata, and it's not visible in open air, so you can always ask a project coordinator to come here to open air and to do that link, and and when they search for um, uh, when they search for a publication uh, they will uh, they will um, identify the publication in your repository if they have it and then you can uh, you can um, uh, start linking to a specific entity so whatever then we decide you decide to to have so th this is important because sometimes we receive this kind of request so and you can point to also uh, your um, researchers uh, that have the content in your repository because they didn't provide the metadata information for a project and they are close to a reporting uh, period for the Year Horizon Europe project, for example, and you can you can ask them, okay, we already update the information in our metadata, metadata but uh, record, but has open air, have a, a delay in terms of averaging, please go to the link um, uh, facility, functionality, and do the link between the publication from our repository and, and, and the project, and then this will be made visible quickly. So this is important, okay? This is just an example. So this is not really checking the data source information, but it's something useful. Okay, I hope that this was useful for you to know. The other slide, and then, and then if you want also to say some things, I'm checking if there are any questions here in the chat. Or it's just Andrea showing the examples. Okay, it's Andrea showing the examples. Um, important thing. So the, the, we have here uh, seven topics that we would like to cover. The f and the, the the first two are related with the, the the update of the information using the dashboard, and this is something that we have already talked about in the last community call because we we change a bit. Okay, and this is important. Uh, it's here. Okay, uh, the update tab. Uh, oops. The update, uh, okay, I need to log in again. The update tab um, is, is uh, okay, it's the, the same structure, let's say, the, the same uh, information, but um, it's important to, to highlight that, um, so we still have this update basic, basic information, update the interfaces, update the administrators and update the terms of use okay you can always do this four uh, types uh, it's critical the one if any change was done to the way image interface you can update it here you can change it okay so you need to 
uh, have a new interface and, and, and change it. If you want to base it on the same way IP image interface, change the apply a new uh, compatibility level, you can uh, do it and, uh, and save it. Okay. Uh, this is where to update the information, uh, the interfaces. Then to update information is also here that you, you can change. It, this is important to, uh, to present, and this was the objective of Andre to put also this because we receive uh, several tickets pointing to one issue that here I, I request your attention to. So you registered um, seven or, or eight months ago or uh, three years ago, the repository here in open air, and then you decided to change the inf some information and we you did the update in the directory side. Uh, so what, what is important for you to know that, that okay, after the, after the onboarding, so uh, we don't apply changes from the then in, in the directory you apply, we apply changes only that you do here directly so be aware of that this is important so you can change here this is what is important to know um you can you if they are relevant you should change in the director and in open air but uh, we we can communicate the information that we have here for the directories if they want to receive it but we don't apply changes in the directories after the onboarding was done. Um, so update interface is here, update information, some basic thing about the information. We have always that useful thing that you have requested a long time ago and, and we implemented is that to have a multi-user thing that you can have and invite admins. Be aware that you can only invite after they registered. So if you want someone new, please ask them to register in open air and then use the email that they have registered to put here also available. Let's see, when aggregated records are, are visible in Explore, okay, this is important for you to, to, to understand that uh, this um, aggregation history is important for you also to be aware uh, about the the indexed version and uh, when was the last content harvested to be visible in the um, in the in the record so this is important please check uh, um, check the aggregation history we found that sometimes the aggregation history doesn't work in the in the home page this was not so common but uh, I don't know, one, after one of the last updates, sometimes there is a kind of timeout session and the aggregation history is not visible here in the in the home page of the dashboard, but, but it's visible here, okay? <laughs> if you click in the term, but it depends. So the, or you can refresh and this will made visible. But in fact, in one of the last uh, times that I have tried to access, sometimes this aggregation history doesn't work, but aggregation history does work here normally. Um, we will we will check. We already report this issue. Let's let's see if we can have it solve it. Um, <clears throat> uh, so number of records aggregated by open air are lower than expected. So try always to check the history in order to understand um, this difference because you see, okay. Uh, in the first of March, I have this number of of, of records, and I in open air I have really less because I we don't have the content from the last one month and a half. This is what we want you wanted to highlight, Andre. True, uh, or, or uh, something yes, the, this this one, and also regarding the compliance with open air guidelines. For example, in, if um, a specific record of your repository is missing, for example, a mandatory field specified by the open air guidelines this record may not be aggregated by open air for example okay and this is this is one of the reasons that open air can could aggregate less records that you have in the in your repository so it's it's very important to for example to when you verify this uh, check the aggregation history and also validate uh, the compliance um, 
of your repository with, with, with the open air guidelines and see if you can find some errors in the metadata and then you can fix it. And then... and please be aware of this information that we have here. If um, this was one of the comments that we received that was not clear, what is the aggregation stage, the transformation stage? We try to put here the information, the help information here close to the aggregation history. It's also important to, to be aware if you won't have re, any additional information about the graph or, or, or the, the link that uh, and Andrea already shared about the, um, the provision, uh, the provision workflow and, and, and the table with the relevant changes that is in the, in the bottom of this page, this long page explaining. This page is really useful because I have all the, um, and uh, have all the process discovered in a, in a, in a really short way. So I think it's, it's useful. So be, 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 be aware of that. I know that some of, <clears throat> several of you know this quite well. But this information is here. Describe it. Uh, the other comment that we want to do <clears throat> uh, is um, about the um, the access. This this fourth year, how to access the metadata enrichment from broker service. This is important. So because we did some changes, um, it's not easy to manage in terms of the user interface to make it clear. So we always try to get your feedback to to improve it um so the enrichments are here in this tab what is important for each topic a sample of 100 um, broker events are displayed okay and this is important so we this is just a sample of records for you to understand the the the, the type of metadata enrichment that we are talking here about between the category missing and the category more okay uh, but then uh, if I want okay let me check oh I have so many uh, authors ID so orchids IDs missing okay great uh, let me check what so I can have a sample of records I will check if if they are relevant I uh, understand what is the type of uh, of of uh, of information that is is missing is something that is natural when we have a repository with a long uh, story so we didn't have the information from the from the the orchid so we we may consider this as a metadata enrichment uh, and we will check if, if we think that this is relevant let's subscribe if I just want only to update uh, the records uh, published uh, last um, published in the last two years, I can make the filters here, and then after the filters, I apply, and then I will do and I will subscribe them here. Okay, uh, and uh, so. I, I will have it here in my, in the in the list of uh, of uh, subscriptions in the list of notifications when I receive every time that is a new index update and that and I have in fact new uh, broker events related with this so 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 be aware of of this so I know that those that are using this in a kind of monthly basis are aware of this but the sample of one hundred records the total number that we have identified as potential enrichments sometimes they are not really enrichments because there are some missing so um partially the information in the, is in the metadata and the other not but uh, but uh, so at least we have some and, and and they are really relevant so at least we know for example the abstract that we can improve our metadata from from our from our uh, repository, for example, the project information, the orchid are those things that are really, really useful. And then even the, so the missing, uh, for example, PIDs, so DOIs, etc. Uh, usually we have a lot in more, okay, because uh, some of us, for example, here in, for example, I'm taking this example of University of Minos, we may have uh, um, 
PID is uh, missing, uh, so we only have the the the, the information uh, from 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 the handle, and we don't have the DOI from the original data source, or or, and we want to update that. But for example, we don't usually we don't put the the PubMed the um, uh, ID, uh, so we may also receive that information if we want to 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 improve the record uh, with this information. Okay. Um, and the last is about um, ah, you already talked about the impact of missing mandatory fields okay okay I was looking to the last but in fact uh, the details of the metadata aggregation stage and the impact of the missing mandatory fields it's something that already Andre already covered um, I think I think this is what we wanted to do so of course, there are other common dots, but we just pick up some of the last tickets uh, in the help desk that we receive uh, to cover it in this um, in this session because we thought that it was it was useful. But um, okay, uh, you can also also ask questions now, um, and if you have any doubt, uh, please please uh, please put it uh, put it now. So in the chat or in the or just turn on your um, turn on your microphone. Okay. Is anything that um, is not clear from from the presentation I made the the clarifications I made is something that is not working as you expected in your dashboard. Uh, please ask. Um, sometimes we we try to 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 focus on this kind of clarifications issues in order to to make it more clear uh, because uh, so the provide is a set of uh, of um, facilities uh, addressing different um, functionalities and and ways that the the data source managers can interact with uh, the, with open air from the the starting point from the boarding of so the registration till the validation process and then also all these kind of functionalities related with the added value services that we have use discounts enrichments <clears throat> sometimes it's not clear and sometimes things are not working as we would expect so you can also ask questions and and uh, so be aware that uh, so you can always if you see something uh, uh, not clear and, and and that you would that you think that is not working well so just send a, a, an help desk ticket we will try to do our best to reply and to clarify yeah, we have two questions in the chat. Okay, what can I do, Veren, if my repository is not identified? Um, is not identified in any of the... In the provide. Um, in the provide. In provide. So here. So, but it's already onboarded in OpenAir. Yes. Yes, but it says uh, not identified. Okay. So this means that um, you are accessing the dashboard with the email that is not associated to the manager of this in OpenAir. But we can check uh, who, what email is associated. So when you access the, the when you, when you access, uh, so here, uh, you don't see it, true. But your uh, no, I don't. I, I do see it, but uh, if I go to update, it says uh, base OAI PMH where are not identified. Oh. So at the update interfaces um, page, and then instead of identified, okay, it says okay, okay. not identified. Yes. Okay. But it says open air for point zero. That's, mm -hmm. that's okay, but I just don't understand why it's not identified. 
Should I just uh, write to the head desk? So you can see what repository yes, yes, it is. We can, we can, we can, we can check. I'm seeing yes. your, I'm seeing your, um, your affiliation. <laughs> Not yes, sure if it corresponds to the, to the name <laughs> of the of the repository. Uh, let's see. Andre can can already check it. In fact, we can we can see it and then we can. Thank you. We can, we can... Yes. Uh, usually, this error happens uh, uh, when there might be an issue with the uh, the certificate if you use an HTTPS URL. Okay. And uh, the second one is uh, if you use an HTTP URL and your repository redirects to an OAI PMH URL that it is HTTPS. Uh, you should put directly the HTTPS URL in the field, but uh, please send an email to the help yeah. desk okay. so it's, that we we'll investigate uh, further. There is HTTPS in the field, and we have HTTPS only repository. So, but I, I write to the help desk. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I already access and I see the message that you are seeing. So we will, this is why I was interrupting my, my share. So, okay, see, perfect. Okay. Um, more questions? Um, Okay, maybe you have, if you have more questions, so please, please turn on your radio or, or ask in the chat. So just to, before we, we finish, but we have some time more to, for you to put questions. So uh, we we had the, um, this call last uh, 1st of February. We also had a call. Please check the recordings if you were not here. So there is any irrelevant presentation that our colleague um, uh, Tanasis made about the, the research graph so about the recent uh, developments and some novelties in the documentation etc that are quite relevant uh, so you can check the recordings you can pass the part that i am talking and then go directly to the danasis presentation and then <clears throat> uh, so we will have the the these two calls already scheduled so please put it in your calendar the first the 5th of um, april and the 3rd of may um and I already uh, uh, opened a bit the window about the type of topics that we want to discuss with you. So for sure, uh, in one of these calls, we will talk about uh, the onboarding in EOSC. So to give you some clarifications about, because you, being part of EOSC, it, it will make it your life easier to be part of, of being part of Open Air, sorry. It will make made your life easier to be part of, of EOSC. The process is not uh, the the onboarding like a uh, form. It's not updated yet with the new uh, things. But um, even if it's not finalized, we will anticipate to you, and you can you can progress with that uh, as you are part of Open Air. And and also we will discuss a bit about uh, the guidelines, some some issues, limitations, and the and the the. the the progress and the changes that we 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 will implement so we also want to talk about that uh, we cannot forget about uh, the newsletter okay uh, you can change it or share it in your country or with other colleagues if you want them to receive so every first uh, monday or tuesday of the month we we send it or, or or so sometimes it's not the first monday so it's just the 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 day before or two days before the our community call um we we, we send it uh, i wanted to highlight this uh, second um, article that we have published yesterday repositories compliance upgrade campaign we did uh, and we did in fact we highlighted last uh, two calls um, uh, so we uh, already started to send the, so we are in fact sending mails this uh, this week um, and next week or we start Monday or we start already Andre no. we, we, are, we are planning to start today 
Okay, perfect. <laughs> because I, I was not sure because I saw the emails. Uh, okay, then so we will start the so the, the this page is already available about the repositories compliance campaign. If you have something also at your country in your institution, also to to link people to be be aware of this, uh, and uh, so we are starting to send emails and, uh, and to provide support to to repositories that are two point zero compliant and then also with those that are that have the basic level of compliance of so the the old driver uh, compliance uh, guidelines that we want people to upgrade for open air 4.0 uh, you can have also the minimum 3.0 but we, we we are pushing to have the um, the four the, the four dot zero so be aware of that put it in your plans for this year the, the support that we you have the external service provider or the it provider in your in your university or, or research institutions be aware of that and in the in the um, let me just check if there are any other questions so andre also put some useful links you have some time to to grab them and to and to open if you think they are useful. Uh, this presentation and the recordings will be made available. Um, and uh, I think it was, um, I hope that it was useful. Uh, some of you are already aware of things that I presented, others it was new, but uh, it's always a pleasure to, to have to try to be as transparent as possible in the developments that we are doing in this particular service of open air. That in fact we are building other services relying on the information and the content that you provide, publications, the, the data sets, uh, software records, etc. So many thanks for your availability, for your presence here. It was a pleasure for for me and and for my colleague Leonidas for sure, and 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 Andre to provide this this information that we we provided today. So. Thank you very much. I, we just keep the session open for 10 or 15 seconds for you to copy some of the links and then we finish. Okay. Ilsa, thank you. Thank you all. So thank you all for, for joining this community call.